Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Mad Cheese. As always, got another defensive play slash gameplay video for you guys. I'm going to show you guys a defense today that I've been using for probably like the last two, three weeks pretty exclusively. I've been getting further and further away from some of the defenses that I put out this year. And I've pretty much been running uh, this one defense this entire game. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do here. Uh, this defense is a pretty lights out pass defense and run defense. And it's pretty brilliant with how it does it. I'm also going to show you guys how to attack this defense because most people that play against this defense really have no idea what to do and I have a million different ways to beat it so I'm gonna show you guys how to use this defense and I'm gonna show you guys how to abuse this defense on the offensive side so starting off with the ball I'm using the Buccaneers playbook right now I typically use the Niners I mean I switch it up pretty much all year but the formation that I mostly use out of both of those playbooks is this gun split close and the first play I'm gonna run is gonna be the fullback inside this is just one of the offensive packages that I pretty much am using a lot right now uh, first play in games I typically just run a safe run play just so I can see what my opponents using uh, I can typically read the defense pretty well but it's always good to be sure and sure enough my opponent is running that very same defense that i'm going to show you guys it's not the exact same formation but it's close enough it's the cover four match so one of the plays that i typically would use to attack this since i'm using this formation i would use the doubles in this play can really home run a bunch of different defenses, but when I get to the line, I can tell he's in a 3-4 cover four drop, so I basically call my audible and I take a loss. Uh, on the next play, I pick the doubles in one more time because I know that that play can home run uh, cover four drop or cover four quarters, just different setups. And when I get to the line, this defense looks like a cover four match, but I kind of try to go for both. I set up a cover four match slash cover four drop, one play touchdown, hoping that it'll work either way. I still take a shot though, because if it doesn't work out, I just, you know, basically punt the ball away. And I give myself a shot. I almost make the play, but nope. it is what it is. On the defensive side, we're going to get to the defensive plays. Uh, there's really three different plays I'm going to show you. One out of the 3-3-5, three, three, this is going to be my pass defense. That's why all my linebackers in this particular formation are going to be uh, safeties. I've shown this setup and this play a bunch of times, but I'm going to show something different today. The cover four drop, this is one of my favorite pass defenses to use right now. Like I said, it's the same. It's different formations, but they're all pretty much the same when it comes to that they're all going to be cover four quarters, cover four palms, cover for match essentially and this is going to be the first play to cover for a drop the first part of the setup i like to do i like to baseline and show blitz that basically just brings these safeties down to the box that's going to be important when it comes to the run defense on the first play tries to run outside you can see we get to stop nope the play that i used to run a lot more the cover three cloud that's still a very good defense that's still one of the most turnover prone turnover heavy defenses in the game and i still have it in my audibles and i use it from time to time but i feel i find people are getting used to that the defense i'm using now like i said it's the cover four drop this one here this is going to be the, the play that we use pretty much throughout uh this entire game but like i said we're going to switch formations depending on what my opponent likes to do on this next play you're going to see second and nine i do my basic setup i do this pretty much throughout uh with a lot of different formations as well where i'm going to put this uh, defensive end here into a three rack into a bluff blitz that's going to cost me on this next play because like i said this is not a great run defense i'm going to switch it up to a different formation for the run defense i'm going to do that on the next play so he's basically hitting me with that a lot there's a couple different run defenses that i use one i already put out i'll put a link in the description below it's out of the four three even six one i'm in the kansas city chiefs playbook if i didn't mention that that's the only playbook that i use the only defensive playbook that i use uh this particular defense is more of like my goal line defense my opponent actually uses that so he must be a viewer uh but the play that i'm going to use on this next play i'm going to switch over to the 4-3 normal and I'm going to use the cover four quarters. I'm going to use all these plays. Like I said, it's probably four different plays and four different formations that I use but they're all cover four quarters or cover four palms or cover four match. Now as far as my setup on the defensive side, as far as my abilities, I pretty much just have zone hawk on my safeties. I got acrobat on all my corners and safeties that I can afford it and I got mid zone KO on a couple of different cornerbacks and safeties depending on how much it costs. So that's pretty much it. Acrobat's probably my MVP, zone hawk and then like I said, mid zone KO just for faster reaction time uh, so that's pretty much it I'm gonna do the exact same setup I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna base the line then I'm gonna show blitz again I'm gonna blitz my user so I have a little bit of speed at the linebacker spot uh, which this is one of the few plays where I actually have a linebacker and then you're gonna see I mean it's gonna shut down most things as we get an interception on the very next play gotcha, bitch. now if we rewind that back 
You can see my opponent's using the exact same route that I use from the gun split close. It's a post route. It probably should have had more success. I'm sure that my attributes, especially uh, Acrobat, had a big, uh, you know, that's a big reason that I got that interception. So on the uh, the defensive side, I'm going to attack it a very different way. I'm going to use the gun tight. This is another play that I put out earlier in the year. I'll put a link in the description below for this as well. And I'm going to use the buck seams. If anybody's running cover four quarters against you, this is definitely the glitchiest play or the best play to, uh, to glitch that out. All I'm going to do is put this X route here on a flat uh, and this Y route is essentially I think the real reason that my cornerback had a better did a better job of covering that last play is because cornerbacks can do that safeties for whatever reason they don't do a very good job so I'm going to motion this B right out put him on a slant uh, and then you're going to see on this play it's basically just going to uh, freeze this safety like a rusty gate <laughs> We should have had a touchdown. I don't know why that happened, but you can see that was first down. This is second down. Just to show you guys, this is not an instant replay. I do the exact same thing, and I get the exact same result. What the fuck? Where the safety gets cooked, but for whatever reason, Randy Moss doesn't catch it. So it is what it is. I mean, at least he put his hands up the second time, so we're making progress. Very next play, we're going to do it again, but I can see he's just kind of hiding out there on the safety. I got identifier, so I know where you're at, bro. So I guess he thought that he could use that. I'm just going to flip the play. I'm just going to go to the other side where he's not. I only have a tight end over there, though, and he's not quite as fast. Uh, so that's going to be more of a problem. But you can see he was all over that route. Uh, and then, like I said, I just don't have the speed to get going. So <laughs> definitely needed to be the receiver. So we have to punt the ball away again on the defensive side. Like I said, we're just going to keep going back to this cover four. This is still the first defense that I call most times unless it gets to the point where I can't stop my opponent running the ball anymore, which this is not the best run defense in the world. You have huge gaps in between the uh, linemen. You're going to see on the next play, he almost breaks a big run. Uh, so I'm going to get out of that defense. Like I said, it's a pass first defense. I find it's a decent run defense, but if I want to kick it up a notch, I definitely have to take it up a formation to the 4-3 normal, even though I'm going to use the exact same defensive coverage. I'm going to use the cover four quarters one more time. This just has more size. It's going to have the same benefits as far as a run defense or a pass defense and I'm going to do the exact same setup. I'm just going to base a line, show press. You can see the safeties walk down to the box. Those safeties are really going to be the MVP of this defense because they're really going to take away just about everything. Then I'm going to hard flat. A lot of times based off of down and distance or if I expect a run like here, I expect a run a hard flat. I think that helps. But what the real main difference is is going to be these safeties. If I guess pass, they'll drop back. If I don't guess pass, they typically shoot down and play the run like they do on this play here. So that's pretty much the main difference whether I guess pass or not. On the next play, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to hard flat. I'm going to, a lot of times I'll put my uh, defensive end into a three wreck once again. This is another move if I'm expecting a pass because that really frees me up to leave the center of the field a lot of times and kind of freelance, which is typically how I like to play my defense. And then you see everything's pretty much locked up and my opponent has to throw the ball away. Nope. So on the next play, third and seven, if it's a third and long or something like this, I'm typically going to leave my quarter flats. I feel like they do a better job in pass defense and quarter flats, obviously in the hard flats. Plus it kind of matches the down and distance. I still do that three wreck trick uh, where I, you know, put my defensive end into a bluff blitz. And everything's locked up once again. We get a three and out. So back on the offensive side, once again, I'm going to attack him a different way. The Pistol Punch TE is a uh, scheme that I just put out. I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. The play that I'm going to use now is the cross drag. This is a play that's going to be good against just about any man or zone in the game. So it's going to have success against this defense as well. There's a couple different ways that I could run this. Uh, these particular zones, a lot of times they act like man coverages. You can see this is going to turn them all into man coverages that are reacting way too slow as we basically just cross them up and we almost have a one play touchdown on the very next play. We call a hurry up because we wanted to keep him in that look uh, and sure enough he does the exact same thing he did last time. He switches over to the safety in that area to try to use that. Like I said, I got identifier. I can see what you're doing, bro. On the very next play, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to go the opposite way away from the user and you can see the A route's wide open the other way. Then on the next play, like I said, I, I think this guy watches my channel because he is using my 4-3-6-1 even. Uh, this is a play at which I said very clearly that this is my, my red zone defense. This is my goal line defense. Uh, uh, and it works because you can see on the next play, nothing's going to be open. As I drop back, I mean, this is this is exactly what I mean. I, I didn't have anything dialed up for this. I wanted to hit the flats. There's nothing there. So I got to step up and take off with my quarterback. He doesn't do a good job of using on the backside. And he's running in for a touchdown, which, like I said, that was really the only option. Everything else is pretty much locked up on that particular play. And you can see, sure enough, he's in the cover four quarters once again. Uh, which, you know, like I said, I thought one of these five routes would be open. But no, nah, nothing. So back on the defensive side, like I said, we're having more success since he's coming out in larger packages, coming out in the 4-3 normal version right now so we're going to go right back to that we have you know just more size we have more more linebackers to match up uh with this run heavy attack that my opponent's trying to uh trying to do like i said the only real difference when it comes to this particular play is if i guess pass or not pass because the safeties and linebackers will drop back 
And if I don't guess pass, they'll shoot forward. They'll take away run plays much more. So on the next play, second and five, I'm not going to guess pass. I hard flat this time because, like I said, this is the full run defense setup. Not guessing pass. I'm not run committing either. But watch how these linebackers and watch how these safeties all shoot forward and take away these gaps. He has nowhere to go. Get over here! If we watch the replay on that one more time... You can see how, once again, these safeties right here, these safeties, these linebackers are all going to shoot forward. This is not a run commit, but it plays the run like a run commit because these cornerbacks on the outside in a run commit would shoot forward too. And if you watch the replay, you can see the cornerbacks on both sides of the field drop back as if this is a passing play. So that basically just, it just takes carry on both sides. It takes carry in run defense, takes carry in pass defense. Going right back to that defense one more time, third and eight. I'm just going to base the line again, show, uh, show blitz, and I'm going to guess pass because it is a third and eight. I'm going to leave those uh, curl flats out there. Gotcha, bitch. And then sure enough, they're going to take everything away. We're going to lock everything down. Uh, and that uh, acrobat comes up one more time as Dick Night Train Lane comes up with an interception. He's the best slot cornerback in the game without a doubt. So back to the offensive side. I'm going to go back to the uh, the doubles in once again from the uh, the gun split close. I still feel like this is one of the better plays to set up. It's a very easy one play touchdown against cover four. The first time that I had it, like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't doing the full setup. And on this next play, I'm going to do that full setup. All you really need is 10-yard comeback routes. That's all you really need. And you need one on the left side so you can basically isolate these these safeties and cornerbacks and all basically turn them into one-on-one -on -one man coverages. And then the X route will be a one-play touchdown. But since I see he's leaving me these huge gaps, I decide to take the safe route and basically just hit him with the fullback inside. And it still doesn't work out because, like I said, these cover four quarters are pretty good run defenses as it shuts me down one more time. Uh, and then I've just had enough with it. I'm going to go right back to that Buck seams play. If you're going to run this defense, you have to watch out for this gun type formation. This will probably be the biggest problem. And you can see he, once again, he's reacting to it he's on the safety over the tight end because he thinks that i'm running it to that side Break yourself, fool. Then you're left in dust. we're just going to hit the wire out for a really easy one play touchdown on the other side like i said that's going to be the easiest play to beat that defense uh, i don't know what was going on here it almost looks like uh my lineman was going to curl randy moss or was he going to like pick him up like a baby or something what the fuck was that? no idea what was going on there so back on the defensive side one more time like i said we're still using that exact same formation four three uh hitting him with the hard flats because he's a very run heavy player even though he's down two touchdowns uh and we're just going to keep this play here you can tell we guess passed based off of the situation and sure enough everything is on lock again nope so like i said that's really the only setup if i guess pass as you can see right here i do it again now the safeties drop back he has some room to run if i wouldn't have did that they probably would have stopped him so now that it's uh, third and short, I'm going to switch over to one of my heaviest run defenses, which is out of the 3-4 under. It's still the cover four quarters, though. We're going to do the exact same setup we've been doing this entire game. This is probably the heaviest aside from the goal line one that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So same setup. All I'm going to do, base the line, show blitz. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to shift my defensive line to the left so we have a defensive tackle right over the center. And then on the next play, once again, boom. We don't guess pass. Sure enough, nope. we shut that uh, run down on the first play. Then on fourth and one, we go to that cover four quarters one more time out of the three four under we make the exact same adjustments i didn't even do the full setup i guess pass i did the hard flats but i also guess pass and we still get to stop as we go right through and shut him down that's going to be all she wrote he's going to head for the exits so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man when shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below